Hi, it's John. I'm down the allotment and I'm just looking at spinach. Um, I planted this row of spinach last year, early last year. Well, I've moved on to the next stage now with the spinach. And what I do, I've picked it in these great long things, and then I've put it in a, a bucket. And this is two days after, and it's still quite fresh, hasn't gone limp. And I've got a pair of scissors, and I'm just clipping off the uh, green bits and putting them into the, into the washing bowl. because they do need washing before you cook them because there might be the odd snail on there. But other than that, I think they'd be fairly clean, really. So now we're going to wash it off. I've got the steamer here. This is a good old fashioned steamer, um, enameled. Somebody said that anything aluminium is not good for you. So, but enameled is all right. Um, and it's, that's where you put the water and then you put the things to be steamed in the top and the lid fits quite well. I've got the spinach in here and Going to rinse it with water, no shortage of water, and water is fairly cheap, so um, no need to um, skimp on the water on the washing because there might be some slow tiding in there, you never know. And uh, give it a good, a good rinse. I don't bother chopping it up at this stage because once it's cooked. It chops up very easily and then bung it in the steamer. Not too much in the steamer we found because if you put too much in the steamer the steam can't get through it and it doesn't cook properly. So I'm not going to press it down, just leave it loose like that. And pop the lid on and put it on the stove. Right, well I've uh, had this cooking for about um, 10 minutes I suppose, and what I do, I just chop it all up with a, a knife like that when it's nice and cooked, into a, a sort of a, well, it could be called a mush, or a pate, or a, a, um, a sludge, no, I don't know what the technical term would be called. Anyway, that's put like that, and just move those over, and quite conveniently here, I've got an ice cube mould in the shape of pineapples for, must be for pina colada, but we're not going to make pina colada. Uh, let's have a go, We're just plonking some of this on here. good lot there but it does boil down a huge amount if you remember that bowlful I haven't quite used the whole bowlful but nearly the whole bowlful now I've just got a cake um, mixer thingy which I'm using to press the spinach into the Ice cube maker. Which 
tubes have gone in reasonably well. That was a bit short. And the whole idea of this is going to be to be able to freeze it in in a bag to get these ice cubes out and put them in a bag which is nice and free and then whenever you need to put a bit of spinach in a, a stew in the winter aha I've got some ice I've got some spinach cubes in the in the freezer I'll just add a bit of good um, greenery into the stew. Right, I think we're about ready for the next stage now, which will be the freezing. Right, let's see what happens. Never done this before. Um, Maybe I should have put some grease on them or something. Mm, not that keen on coming out. But they wouldn't be, would they? Oh, I, I hear what it, Oh, I see, I see, I get it. It sort of pops. Ah, oh! Oh, yes, so you can sort of pop it. Because it's, it's... It's a rubber ice cube maker. Oh, it's quite hard. I'm pushing it out with my thumbs. Right, well that's got them all out. Obviously that will need a wash up now. And lots of pineapple shaped spinach. Now, when you buy spinach in the shop, you buy it in the cubes. You can buy it in the cubes like this, frozen spinach. Um, just to get as much air out of that as possible. Normally do that with a straw. Um, well, I, I haven't got a straw, but I've got a biro thing. Right. You're inhaling blue. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm a bit dizzy. <laughs> right, so that's got the air out of the bag. This is going to be a valuable, valuable resource, isn't it? <laughs> oh, dear. Some frozen spinach, and there's a lot in there. That's quite concentrated stuff, isn't it? Mm. Right. Bye for now.